Enough now. I heard it in sweet Yorkshire tones from the mouth of Jill Wood, a head teacher who roams through the corridors of old little London in Leeds, a place where she loves with her heart till it bleeds for the children, their futures, their hopes and their dreams, their well-being, their nurture, their low self-esteem, the traumas through which many live every day, and the stress of the sats is the price they must pay to populate league tables, marking their score, the competitive culture demanding ever more. And who needs to know a subordinate clause? Could we stop for a moment, reflect with a pause? What are we doing? What is achieved? What kind of dragon does this biopower feed? Sat scores improve, well, hip hip hooray, but our mental health crisis is growing by the day. Enough now. Enough now, enough of it all. The ideology's broken, this beast must now fall. It's vile underbelly, exposed in plain sight. And we must resist it with all of our might. Enough now of economy driven by greed, where profit beats people with mouths we can't feed. Enough now of the backhanded contract awards to companies promising such great rewards to our public services whose assets they strip. And then they hand back the contract and it's toodle pip and who pays the price of these outrageous bailouts? Oh, that would be us. There are no doubts. This unbridled, deregulated monster spits out its venom and billions suffer. They literally live on the crumbs and the scraps that fall from the table of the elite. And the cats who have all the cream lick from the laps of their luxury living whilst the trickle down taps leak just enough out to convince us to go and uphold, yes, maintain this sick status quo. Enough now of the hoarding of trillions offshore miserly hiding resource from the poor. Enough now of destruction of beautiful earth, selfish pollution releasing its curse, whilst plastic smothers oceans and suffocates seas, deforestation and the genocide of bees. Enough of our weapons, enough of our wars, enough of our arms deals and the conflicts they cause, enough of the cover-ups and the dodgy trade deals, the threats and the violence of the power that wields its sword of destruction on innocent lives and twists the true story with dangerous lies. Enough now of division and building of walls, the pointing of fingers and the hating of all who aren't just like us, who don't dress our way who we blame for our problems and don't want them to stay. Enough now of the gangs and the drugs and the fear. Enough for the mothers weeping their tears for the ones they have lost so young in their life to the gun or the needle or the sharp stabbing knife. Enough now of the trafficking people like slaves or the drowning of refugees deep in the waves as we protect our own borders and turn a deaf ear to the cries of the children whose hope disappears. Enough now of reviling the poorest of poor, whose help we are cutting and trapping them more. Enough now of our judgments before we have heard the truth of the stories that truly undergird the pain and complexity weighing heavy like lead, holding them stuck in a tangling web whilst the welfare they need is broken and lacks the relationship required to truly tack this wild, unkind and tumultuous sea of joblessness, addiction or disability. Enough now of the media 
throwing its weight around all our psyches and stirring up hate. Enough now of the lie of supposed democracy. No, what we have is multiplied sovereignty and that does not represent the rich tapestry of the views and opinions and perspectives we see. Where's your enough now? What makes you care? Don't now be silent. Speak up. Don't be scared. The empire is over. Colonialism's dead. It's time that we find a better future instead. There's a time to pluck up, to tear down and overthrow. There's a time to build up, to plant and to sow. So let's dream of a future that's built on the power of love and of kindness and of peace in this hour. An economy redistributive and regenerative by design. A politics that cuts through the old party lines. The bravery to tackle environmental need, a gentler way of living, to ensure that we feed every hungry belly and every mouth that knows thirst might have clean water. Yes, let's get the basics right first. Education that releases potential and life to a world that needs healing and an ending of strife. Healthcare, regardless of ability to pay. Parks in which all kids find safety to play. Welfare that is, well, fair and breeds wholeness to all. A justice system that restores those who fall. Homes for the homeless, freedom for slaves, welcome for refugees, a livable wage. Wrongs to put right, but together we can, if we choose now to draw a line in the sand. We'll need conversations involving all ears and voices to collate the wisdom we need to make difficult choices. Life-giving, green energy, keeping us warm. Reconciling peacemakers, helping us form connected communities where all can stand tall in their place of equality and their unique call to shine like a star in the darkness and leave a legacy for the future that continues to weave love upon hope, upon life, upon peace. This is the future.